All right, folks, welcome back to Karak Avalon's Gaming. We're back in Elden Ring, and today I have a boss fight for you. I have the Death Bird. I'm going to see if I can find the Death Bird. Now, I get a pretty good idea of where he is. This is an optional boss in the Weeping Peninsula, and it's down by Morn Castle. I think he's going to appear right about here. That's my, that's from my research, that's what I found. Now here's Morn Castle, I've already cleared this um, at another time. Now this particular boss will only spawn at night. So you need to wait till night time. And then hopefully he will spawn. We'll see. So before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content, I really appreciate it. Please smash that like button. Please subscribe. Please share the video. All that stuff really helps the channel out, and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. So, it's nightfall, so there are plenty of bosses. Like, there's one. I've already defeated him. I don't need him tonight. But there's plenty of bosses that only spawn at night, so you need to get to a site of grace, and you need to forward the time. Now there's plenty of delve bosses that spawn whenever. Whenever you go in there, right? Um, this is an optional boss. It will it will appear here at night whenever you ride by. Um, if you come to this area, um, so you know it's it, it's meant to be a surprise. It's not a surprise for me. Did I get that? Yeah, I did. Right. Um, because I happen to find it. And then, um, I'm like, okay, no, this is going to kill me, and it did, and now I'm coming back to fight it. Hear it? There it is. So, you can range it from up here. He's going to not, he's just going to keep, this is a nice way to range it, but you kind of have to be very careful. See, it's hard because he's going to wait down there for me. I have to come down there, and I've got these other bats flying around. That could be problematic. So, but he's stalking me right now, and I know you probably want to get a good look at him. got to get rid of these other ads here. Oh, they're flying away, good. And that hurt. Okay, get a flask. I don't want to get too close to this guy, because definitely hits hard. Oh no! He baited me in. Wow. Nice play. Baited me in. Got too confident. Or maybe he has a range. I'm not sure. I haven't figured out all the... El no, it looks like he can move closer. So I don't have any more health flasks left, so I gotta be very careful here. Stay way away from him. As you can see, this is definitely the strength of the mage. I can just range this guy. If I can just stay away from him, he's baiting me in again, but I'm not hitting him. See that? Just got a flask. Run. more hits. Just gotta stay away. Got him. That's the death bird. Fairly straightforward fight for a mage. A, drop. a sacrificial axe. Nice. What is that?
Sacrificial axe. 128 physical. Nice. Uh, no passives. I mean, it looks like aesthetically it's nice. I'm not going to use it for a mage, but let's read it. Hatchet used in the ancient sacrificial rit rite. The death bird is depicted as a malevolent deity. The power of the rite yet lingers. A small amount of FP is restored upon slain flow. Okay. Skill wild strike. Swing armaments with wild abandon. Hold to continue swinging. Can be followed up with a normal or strong attack. That's interesting. So if you kill somebody, you get a little, you get a little FP, which is your, basically your magicka base. Allows you your mana pool, which allows you to cast spells if you're a mage. Um, so that fight was... So when I first discovered this guy, I just happened to hop down here at night. He popped out. I decided to try to fight him, and I got pretty much just two-shotted. <laughs> which, you know, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Um, I decided to t make a video to show you um, a good way to fight some field bosses, right? Because this happens all the time in, in um, Elden Ring. You just be cruising along and something just drops down and, you know, wrecks you. So that particular boss got to here, was able to come down here, but then wanted to back up. Now, I don't, it, it appeared that he was baiting me that last, that second time. But if you stay at range with a lot of these bosses, um, you can just freaking you know, as long as you've got the Magicka to keep launching projectiles at them, it's really not that hard at all. Uh, now, this is a field boss, okay? You're in a, de in a delve, there's, you know, you don't have as much room to maneuver. Like, I've got all this room here to run around. You're in a delve, you've got, you know, it's a really small area. You really have to know how to dodge because you won't be on your horse. But field fights against field bosses get on your horse and fight ranged it's 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 a great it's great you're going to get plenty of loot get some good experience you get some good practice anyways that's the death bird fight interesting little boss in uh elden ring i have not tried him on my melee tank yet um i'm still developing that character trying to figure out how best to play it but for my sorcerer uh, this astrologer class, I feel very comfortable taking on field bosses. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll talk to you again soon.